Father, we bless you. The King of glory, we give you praise. The Lord of the church, we magnify your name. The master builder, we lift you high. The provider, the chief shepherd, the Lord of glory, we honor you. We salute your majesty. Only you alone can do what no man can do. You have been doing it in the past. You have done it again. Our heart is full of praises unto you. Our heart is full of gratitude for who you are to us. In the midst of lack, you brought plenty unto us. The love you have for RCCG is incomparable. We thank you for allowing all your ministers to ride on your wing and you fly them higher every day. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. And so, Father Lord, today is a dedication place for this beautiful edifice of yours. We know you are already here, and you will be forever here. Amen. Everything you can do for us today, our heart is open to receive with joy, Amen. with pleasantry, Amen. so that this dedication day will be a remarkable day for all of us. Amen. And nobody will go empty-handed. We thank you for all the people you have used, the architects, the builders, the worshippers, those who contributed, all ministers of God. Oh God, we are grateful that we have brought them in at a time like this. And you have used them for your glory. We pray that the devil will never use any of them. They will move from one degree of glory to another. And the church of God will continue to march on all over the world. This is our desire. We use this dedication as a point of contact. That we rededicate all the churches all over the world. That your people will serve you. Amen. They will know you more. Amen. They will love you more. Amen. And miracles and signs and wonders will continue to happen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. We give you praise. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Kindly be seated. We honor the name of the Lord who has brought us all here today and we are grateful to him for what we have seen and the ones we have seen in the past and the one we are yet to see. I pray the Lord will give us, we lend in our days and we shall see more. Amen. I congratulate the General Overseer of RCCG. Baba, <laughs> you will live long. You will live to see more days. Amen. You have always told us we have not started. We all believe we have not started. So we know very soon we shall start. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I want to congratulate all our major leaders in the house. The continental pastor, Pastor Deyemi, the wife. And I want to say to you, as you are following the full step of the general overseer, you will follow forever. Amen. Even into glory. Amen. I want to thank God for the Apapa family. Every family of God in the house, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. All the families of God in the house, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't mind 
it to them. They just use that a papa family. Last two. We are all families of God. Is that right? Yes. yes, that is the most essential. So we salute everybody from City of David. And um, God will continue to prolong your days. Amen. And you will do more, more, more. Amen. And all of us, the family of God, we shall do more, 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 more. Amen. In Jesus' name. Uh, the pastor in charge of this church, you won't believe it. We met on the field, the Liberian field. And uh, he's a co general and missionary with me. Anytime I see him, I'm always happy because. Is somebody that knows what he's doing and is pursuing it. He doesn't look back. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. Uh, when they saw uh, Jesus, they said, Nobody knows that anything will come, anything good will come out of Nazareth. It has really come out of you. So I salute you. So all the generals in the house, shout hallelujah. The grace of God that is upon the men are also upon the women. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And when you read Acts chapter 2 verse 1 and 2, on the day of Pentecost, all those in the house, how many of them? 120, including women. Women shout hallelujah. Ah. We are not going to be left behind. If my co-general can be here and does what he has, she has, he has done, we women, we are also on the field. We shall make it. Very soon, the next dedication in Abuja will be a woman church. Well done, pastor. Well done, all the co-pastors and those who assisted him. In prayers and in mourning and all kinds of anything you have done, the Lord will reward you my city. God bless you all. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm.
We can never thank you enough. We give you all glory and honor for the salvation of our souls, for keeping us in your love, for doing your work yourself. We are very grateful. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. My Lord and my Savior, today we have come to dedicate this building to you. We are praying that beginning from now, like never before, this place will become a place of miracles, Amen. a place of signs, Amen. a place of wonders. Amen. Every sick person who comes here to worship Father, let them be healed. Amen. If they bring the bound here, let the bound be set free. Amen. If they bring the dead here, let the dead rise. Amen. If the barren comes here, let the barren become fruitful. Amen. Every prayer prayed here, my Father and my God, answer by fire. Amen. And let a mighty revival break out from here, O oh Lord. Amen. Please, Lord, let the miracles begin today. Amen. Even as we dedicate this place to you in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Well, let someone shout hallelujah. I shake hands with one or two people and tell him how oh, God will bless you mightily today. We, we can please be seated. Before I go any further, I think you should put your hands together for the choir. They are good. They are good, they are good. They know, they know how to bring down the presence of God. Okay. Well, mommy has already done a big part of the job for me. I greeted all those who should be greeted. And if you have not been greeted, now you are greeted. <laughs> Glory be to God. When they were asking me to come here, they told me five minutes. <laughs> on your way to church on Sunday, just pass by here, wave your hand and say, God bless you. <laughs> I said, I'm too old to be deceived now. <laughs> Glory be to God. This is beautiful. You, <laughs> you've done a great job, small line, but uh, you transformed it to something beautiful. Well done. Congratulations. The house of God is the house of joy. Psalm 16 verse 11, Psalm 16 verse 11 says, uh, in his presence, there is the fullness of joy. So if you want your joy to be full, spend quality time in the house of God. It is a house of healings. In Mark chapter 2, if you read it from verse 1 to 12, Mark 2, 1 to 12. The Bible said that when the friends of a man who was paralyzed from neck down was heard that Jesus was in the house, they brought him. You know, if he can only get into that house where Jesus was, he's not going to be carried back. I therefore decree. At whatever sickness you brought in here today, you won't take it out. Yeah. The house of God is the house of deliverance. 
In Mark chapter 1 from verse 23 to 27, Mark 1, 23 to 27, the Bible says it was in the house of God that God found a man with an unclean spirit. Um, there are some people who believe that demonic people should not come near the church at all. But I've always felt that if they don't come, how are they going to be set free? The, if you get to the best of, of hospitals, that's where you find the worst cases. The only thing is that if they come in there, they should not remain as they were. And so if you came in here today and I see a link between you and the devil, uh, the devil is going to be disappointed today. Yeah. Because that link will be broken today. Amen. The house of the Lord is not just a house of uh, healing, deliverance. It's also the house of lifting up. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 13 from verse 11 to 13. Luke 13 from verse 11 to 13. He spoke that Jesus again was in the temple. And there was a woman there who had what the Bible called the spirit of infirmity. And the woman was bent, bowed down together for 18 years. The woman had a problem that could not be hidden. You know, there are problems you can hide under your dress. But in the case of this woman, as soon as people saw her coming, they knew she had a problem. Uh, and then the Bible said that the major effect of her problem was that no matter how hard she tried to straighten up, she couldn't. There are many people who are not bent double. But they've tried everything possible to climb to go up in life and they found that they just couldn't do it because there are certain forces binding them. I decree in the name of the one who sent me that whatever has been hindering your lifting up, whatever has been limiting your promotion will be destroyed today. <laughs> The house of the Lord is the house of restoration. Because in Mark chapter 3, from verse 1 to 5, Mark 3, 1 to 5, the Bible tells us of uh, what happened. The Lord was again in the temple, and then there was somebody there with a withered hand. And you know the meaning of a withered hand. It means the hand used to be useful. But it's no longer useful. Uh, and that could have many implications. The hand used to be able to go into the pocket and bring out billions. Now, he can't do that anymore. The hand that withered. Uh, it's a hand that used to be laid on the sick and the sick will be healed immediately. But now the hand can be laid on the head until all the hairs are gone and nothing will happen. The hand has been withered. Withered hand means you can't do what you used to be able to do before. But then in the house of the Lord, the withered hand was restored. So I have good news for somebody. Everything Satan has stolen from you will be restored today. That is why David said, I was glad. When they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. If I can get there, if I'm sick, I'll be healed. If I'm bound, I'll be freed. If I'm bent double, <laughs> it will lift me up. And if I've lost anything, there'll be restoration. 
I have good news for those of you who are here today. Your joy will be full. Amen. Your sickness will be gone. Amen. Your yokes will be destroyed. Amen. Everything hindering your progress will be forgotten. Amen. And whatever you have lost, you will get back. Amen. But more than anything else, the house of the Lord is the house of salvation. Because that's the house of the Savior. So to come to the house of the Lord with sin, and go away with sin will be a shame. And I can assure you, the Savior is here today. So if you are here and you are not sure of your salvation, this should be your day. Because let me tell you the truth, there's really no joy like the joy of salvation. I should know. Because the moment you give your life to Jesus Christ, everything turns around. Sorrow becomes joy. In every facet of life, there are bound to be dramatic changes for the better. The Bible says so. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. How many things become new? Oh. oh. So if you've been coming to church or going to church somewhere else, and you, and you, see, you see don't have fullness of joy, you need to check your salvation. So if you are here today, you might be the only one. Because in most of the cases I mentioned here, the man with the withered hand, the woman bent double, the man who was carried in, they are individual. They are, the cases are all about individuals. Today's dedication, like well, many of those who have spoken have said, can only be a miracle. I mean, <laughs> I thought they were joking when they were asking me to come and dedicate the place. They told me several other things. I answered all other top, all other requests. I kept quiet about the dedication. They were almost leaving when Pastor they me said, but Daddy hasn't said anything about the dedication because I thought they were joking. But between the time he said that one and I opened my mouth, I had said I would come. There are certain things you say before you realize you are saying it. <laughs> Which means you are not the one talking. Uh -huh. It's the one in you. And it could be that because there is someone here that God does not want that fellow to go to hell. Might be some, just one fellow for which God says change all your plans and go. So if you are that one fellow and you are not sure of your salvation, the Lord is calling you now. I'm going to count from one to five because of those of you in the galleries. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, come. Come and stand before the altar. We will pray for your salvation and then we'll be on our way. Please come. Come and make assurance doubly sure. Come very quickly. God bless you as you come. Come. Come very quickly. I'm counting now. One. Two. Three. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. 
four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Okay. Now, if there's anyone else who can join us before we finish praying, but those of us who are in front now, go ahead, talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, make this my day. Save my soul. Let your blood wash away my sins. I will serve you for the rest of my life. You're welcome. Those of you who are still on the way, just keep coming. Make sure you get here before I finish praying. Call on him. Say, Lord, I surrender my life to you. Save my soul. And I will serve you for the rest of my life. Please, the rest of us, let's stretch our hands towards these our new brothers and sisters and intercede for them. Pray that the one who saved your soul will save their own souls also. Intercede for them. Anyone else that is still coming, keep coming. There is room for you. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. My Father and my God, I want to bless your name. I want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for these people who have come forward to surrender their lives to you. Father, please receive them. Amen. Save their souls. Amen. Have mercy on them. Amen. Let your blood wash away their sins. Amen. Give them genuine salvation today. Receive them into the family of God. Amen. And from now on, any time they cry unto you, please answer them by fire. Amen. Thank you, my Father. Amen. And Lord God Almighty, I'm committing everyone who is a child of God in this place into your hands today. In a moment, they're going to cry unto you for something. They're going to ask you for a miracle. Please, Lord, a miracle to mark today. A miracle that will make this day a day never to be forgotten. Give to your children. Amen. Don't let anybody live here without a testimony. Amen. And when you've done it, take all the glory. Amen. Thank you, my Father. Amen. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I want to rejoice with those of you who have come forward today. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. I will want to know your names, your address, your prayer requests, because from now on, I'll be praying for you. Uh, the reason I say who just now is because my daddy asked me to shake hands with each of you. <laughs> So, uh, I will shake hands with you. Stay where you are. Don't move. After that, you will join the rest of us in prayer. After that, uh, the counselors will then uh, attend to you. But in the meantime, praise ye the Lord. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Could you believe that? You are shaking my hand today. Glory be to opportunity to get something special from God a miracle you are not even expecting so you will stand on your feet and shout a very big hallelujah
And lift your voice to the Almighty God and say, Father, Please surprise me today. Give me a miracle I will never forget. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God.